is it? Why is it out of focus? Okay, there we go. All right, so I just had a female lady. I bred an onyx to her. I thought it'd be fun because she's my most aggressive female. She's in this tub right now. Um, but I figured I'd grab her eggs and, and put her in here and uh, film it because who knows what she's going to do. She's a little crazy. But uh, you can tell right away when I open up the tub, see that really fast head twitching? That's uh, that's uh, you piss me off, I'm going to kill you, bite. See how she's right about to come out of the tub? <laughs> she is not a nice snake by any means, even when she's not around eggs. So, um, But I also, I don't want to stress her out too much, so I'm going to try to do it somewhat fast. Uh, there's my alarm. <laughs> Special sound. <laughs> All right, press pause. All right, you should have an alarm go off, but basically... Uh, I wanted to do a film. She is not nice, even when she's normally, uh, you know, not around eggs. But I figure she was going to be even more aggressive when I try to get the eggs out. Careful if you jump up, because I'm hiding behind you. I'm going to jump up, but okay. So, whoop! She saw me. No cheating, ball python. Basically, to get her off the eggs, I'm going to probably have to pull out her tub and reach around the back of her. Not a big clutch, but that's all right. Like I said, this is an onyx to a normal. Um, this is kind of what I do, the least stressful way to remove a snake. And people want to ask how to take apart the eggs. The best way to take apart the eggs is when they're first laid. Um, if you let them sit for a couple hours, they will glue themselves together pretty good. But these are still pretty warm. Um, I could probably just go in and, and pull these apart. I just kind of want to watch, make sure I don't tear anything like this. Set them aside. You can kind of see how they, they want to pull apart, but these are still pretty warm. So I'm not too worried, but I just take my time, and peel them apart. Uh, the sides are always worse than the, the tops for some reason, but um, a lot of people still even mark their eggs like if they're laid like this, but it's been proven that it doesn't really make a difference if they roll around a little bit. Um, people rotate their eggs purposely to uh, prove it. But, like I said, here in a second, I'll get them all unstuck. See, it's how glued together this one is. This is probably the first two that were laid. So you kind of want to just be careful. But they should still come apart like that. Um, and then let me grab an egg box so you can stay focused. Ow. Sorry. All right, so these are my egg boxes too, kind of how they're set up. Uh, this is like a stitching pattern, um, but basically I got perlite filled with water and then I got a light diffuser. Um, and the perlite isn't there for any other reason but to kind of help the water not slosh around. Uh, I used to not even use that, but um, you know, you kind of find better ways as you go and this is a better way for me. It works well for me. So then I got the stitching pattern thread take the snake eggs, make sure they're not touching the sides. You don't want them touching the sides of the box or touching the top of the box. And stick them in here. If I don't have enough room, I just kind of make room. And then I'll put some press and seal over the excuse me, over the top of the egg um, to help with the humidity, help them stay plump. But uh, that's kind of how I incubate them. I incubate them at 90 degrees. Um, 
But if you guys have any other questions, just feel free to shoot me a message. All right, thanks.